Okay, so I have a patient with left-sided neck pain when he turns to the left. So go ahead and turn left. You've got pain right around here. And up into my neck. And up into the neck. And the pain is on a scale of zero to 10, what is it? A five for me. Okay, look straight. So there's a fascia chain that runs from the arm up into the tricep, into the infraspinatus, into the levator scap and the rhomboid. So anytime you have a pinched nerve on the left side looking left, it's usually gonna come from this chain is gonna be the culprit. So when I palpate and I feel a lot of tension right here in this infraspinatus, I'm gonna traction it, I'm gonna pin it, and I'm gonna traction it toward the neck, creating slack toward the neck. When he turns left, what does it turn the pain into? Three. Okay, so we took it down Two. 20%, okay? When I go a little bit lower and I traction this piece, any better or the a same? Bit, a little bit, more of the same. So what we're gonna do is work this piece into this piece. When I traction this up toward the neck, Look left, still a five or is it less? Oh, less. So is it a three again? Yeah. Okay, and we're gonna trace it all the way right into here when I traction that, look left. Any less pain? Mm -hmm. Still a three? Even less maybe. Even less. Yeah. So for the next 10 minutes, I'm gonna be working on treating this whole piece and then we'll come back and see where he's at. So treating this tissue now has his pain down to a three out of 10. But I just found, this is where the axillary nerve comes through. This is called the quadrangular space. It's where the tricep tendons and the teres major and teres minor create a quadrangular, a four line canal for the nerve to go through. I'm going to really work this posterior delta. Okay, so I just spent three minutes just really grinding this down. Turn your head to the left. Scale of zero to 10, what's the neck pain now? I'm at a one. Okay, so this was a really big component of fascial compression, clamping a nerve, creating a nerve, a pinched nerve, if you will, in this zone. So now the next and final last little bit is gonna be to treat a lot of the, the tissue right where the nerves come out of the spine. So right along this paraspinal, we're gonna work all this out. We'll see if we can't get it to a zero. He's rotating one inch to the right and then tucking his chin straight down that's gonna get this perfect stretch along the paraspinal muscles, splenius capitis, splenius cervicis. It's gonna get a little bit into the levator scapula, the fascia stretch movement pattern would be just to look straight up to the sky at that same angle, look up, then look straight down. And we're just gonna start washing this tissue back and forth as he moves up and down Also just gonna tug and peel this tissue off of the lining of the bone, decompressing the fascia off the nerve, which is right in here. So the neck scraping didn't take him from a one to a zero. I kept him out of one. So when I come back through and I feel where this trap 
overlays from the levator scapula, I've got this piece of tissue right here that is stuck going upward. And when I pin this piece and it doesn't budge, and I'm just trying to take this tissue up a couple millimeters, right there I feel is where the nerve is clamped. Look to the left. Does that get rid of that one out of 10? Really close. So if I scooch over a little bit and I clamp it there, look left. Yeah, that's it. So there we're at a zero out of 10. So that's mm -hmm. the piece we're gonna milk right that's it. here. That's it. Yeah. Traction up, 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 up. Breaking this tissue down. Yeah, it looks a zero. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Look to the left. Much. Yeah. Pretty much there. So I'm gonna work on that a little bit more, but that's how we get rid of same-sided pinched nerve. We gotta treat the whole piece.